Now, last time I tried this, the first thing I did was to pull the cam and the oiler tube off, and I had a large C-clamp tool that I was using to try to take these valves out. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't have the right adapters to fit on these valve springs, because on this cylinder head, the valve springs are recessed down below the top surface plane of the head. So the tool I had just wouldn't fit. Uh, however, I do have these two, uh, this one's a two piece valve spring compressor. Oh, here we go. This is a two piece valve spring compressor. And this is a one piece. Basically it just has a roll pin holding it together. Uh, and I found that these two different tools, while they're very similar, uh, they meet two different functions on this particular head. Uh, the last time I had some issues with getting out this valve spring here, and I think I was expecting problems on these three, uh, but ended up not having problems. But this one in particular, because the valve spring is located so close to this aluminum part, uh, this tool actually rubs against that back side of the head. And bring the head a little bit closer here, you can see this. It actually made a couple of indentations in the aluminum. And the reason for that is simply because on this tool, the pivot point is located slightly further back from where it pivots on the cam than on this one piece tool. So if I line these up real quick, hopefully the lighting will cooperate here. This pivot is just slightly forward compared to this one. So when this you know, presser part is put into that pivot point, it's just slightly further back so what you end up with is this tool is sitting on a bit of an angle and this part hits into the aluminum. So I'll show you that real quick in this direction. because This is really the way it counts. So if I take this tool, I'll kind of set this up really quick. Oh, it's not going to fit that way. Take this off first. There we go. That's basically how it goes. Okay, so now that's all set to press down and compress the spring. And this is the one that works well. So if I press on this, because of the position on that roll pin, this presser foot is located just in slightly from that aluminum part of the head. So when I press down, it doesn't hit the aluminum. However, if I use the two-piece tool, let's see if I can do this with one hand. All right, cool. The pivot is so far back, which it's really not that much, but it's back far enough that this presser foot is hitting into that aluminum. So when I go to press it, I have to not only fight the spring, the spring tension, I also have to fight the friction of the presser foot against the aluminum. Plus it's making divots in the aluminum. So it's not the end of the world, it still works, but this one works better for that one position. Anyway, that being said, uh, I'm gonna be using this one just for that valve and then using this for all the rest.